I'm Paul Roper, I'm the Controls Manager here at Airdale. I started here at Airdale in 1981, so I've been here for quite a while. I started working on the shop floor as an assembler, doing the brazing, then moved on through the electrical team, moved into the testing, and finally moved into the site commissioning, which led me to do the controls, which now after 35 years, I'm the, the Controls Manager for Airdale. For all our chillers and crack units, HVHC, we have an independent controller in each unit. What we do is uh, here at Airdale, we write our own software, so each controller is programmed by Airdale, we move it forward. What my division does is we take that and specialise it and make it into a system. We can bring all the information to one central computer device and we can use that information to make decisions. We can power monitor, we decide to slow or fan down, speed a pump up, just to save energy to one, one viewpoint for the whole system. Yeah, the ACES system is Airdale's branding name for a BMS. It's called for Airdale Controls Integrated Systems. So that's what ACES stands for. ACES to us is bringing all the components from different manufacturers' pumps, different protocols over the BMS to bring it into one large system. That's what ACES is. While we're working with a client, we tailor the, the ACES BMS to what their needs are. So if they're a data center or building as a requirement, we will work with the customer to give them what they want, not what we want. Even though we're the specialists in the system, we'll design it around them and give it everything. They're, it's their building, they know how to control it. Some of the things they might want is just the general temperatures, humidity, power monitoring, which then builds up the, you know, into a full system. Uh, the fan speeds, the, uh, the water flow, there's, there's so much for them to monitor. You know. The most popular integration for the BMS system is what we work along with are the data centers. We are data center specialists. So with that would include the HVAC, the chillers, the PDUs, the generators, anything to do with power will be brought back to the system. We do monitor everything, but the AC system is not just a monitoring, it makes decisions in, in, intellectually and changes set points around. Thank you.